Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I've got two special guest replays for you, uh, featuring uh, my good friend Bobek. Um, he's going to be playing the Scourge Kirovets Dash One uh, in these two replays, and he's got some cracking replays for us to have a look at. And the first one we're going to look at is on Secret Line. Uh, now I'm just going to quickly go over the equipment and the perks that Bobbit runs on the Kiravet. So he's running Vert, Stabs, Gun, Rammer and Vents uh, on the equipment setup. And for the perks he's got Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Steady Aim, Run and Gun, um, the Safe Ammo Rack Storage, the Six Cents, Situational Awareness, Trap Mechanic and Snapshot. So yeah, I mean... The Scourge Kiravets, I don't really know too much about it if I'm honest. Uh, it's a tank I do have, but I have not played it at all. Um, I really should actually give my Russian heavy tanks a little bit more love. Because uh, out of the whole IS3 variants, there's not that many, if any, I've actually played. So, yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, I just, I just don't know too much about Scourge Kiravets, to be honest. But, um, you know... Hopefully Bobbit's gameplay here will uh, sort of give us some good indication as to what this tank can do. Um, so yeah, like I say, we're on Siegfried line here. Um, and he's come to this nice little um, sort of turtle up brawl area. Um, and he's got some gaps that he can get shots through on. Uh, he's trying to get some shots into this FE215. Um, which he's managed to get a shot through uh, the track wheel. Um, tried getting a shot in there, but I think the shell may have just gone a bit too high and just hit the uh, upper plate. Um, so naturally, it's going to bounce. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't sneak a shot through there. I think he's just at this point just trying to avoid taking any damage. Uh, he is bottom tier, so obviously, you know, does have to try and conserve the hit points as much as possible. Um, you don't want to get hit by a tier 10 tank sort of early doors, it's not great. But the, uh, the FA took some serious punishment from his teammates and luckily he manages to squeeze in the kill shot there. Um, so yeah, he's, he's done the right thing sort of in, uh, in the secret line. He's, he's sort of coming to the town where you know you can use sort of uh, these Kiravets' uh, armour to, you know, it, it, it's the best use it can. Um, being sort of Russian, he's sort of side scraping off a building here, which is the right thing to do. Um, like I say, being Russian, it's it's gonna side scrape relatively well. Like I say, I don't know too much about the Kirovets, and I think he's actually good at side scraping or not. So apologies. Uh, unfortunately, he just uh, he, he gets peaked by a um, Type Four heavy, uh, which manages to just sort of uh, put a hash, you know, hash round into him. Doesn't fully pen I don't think um, but uh, it does manage to take over 500 hit points off him which isn't ideal um, but he's come back to sort of a safe position now this hard case is um, sort of rushing in on his friendly teammate in the Samoa um, so I think he's just sort of waiting to see if he can potentially get shots on the hard case as it comes around it doesn't look like the hard case is obliging here um, but uh, he's just keeping safe. He's got a tank destroyer to the left of him, so he doesn't have to worry too much about that Type 4 poking because uh, he knows he's got some support um, sort of close by that uh, can give him some cover. Um, so, yeah, now I think he's going to sort of go back to the position where he was at, where he was able to sort of, you know, he did get a shot into sort of the King Tiger there. Saw this, uh, the, the King Tiger was moving, but unfortunately wasn't in a position to get some shots off. Um, team has managed to sort of pull the game back a little bit and make it a little bit more even. Um, I think at this point, Bobbit is just sort of just taking his time just to assess the situation and just to see where next he can sort of make a play. We does see this uh, Basante cross, and unfortunately, um, just the. the doesn't quite get the shot in. Um, I think he still had the heat loaded, so uh, the APCR probably would have hit that because um, APCR does actually have really good shell velocity in this. Um, but he does manage to get a shot into the Basante as he leaves. So, um, yeah, again, just going to sort of sit uh, comfortably in this position here. Just, you know, say, assess what tanks 
or on what hit points, where they're coming from, is there sort of any opportunities that you can potentially get shots in. Um, and yeah, he's just playing the patient game here, which is the right thing to do. Let's say bottom tier, uh, you know, you don't want to sort of go too aggressive and throw your hit points away. Now, I think this bat chat has just uh, come sort of gliding in, just trying to get some shots on the move. Luckily, none of them um, hit Bobek, and he manages to get a shot in on the bat as the bat sort of passes through. Manages to pick up his second kill there on the King Tiger. Um, so yeah, he's, he's now the game's sort of progressing a little bit more. See this Basante tries getting a shot in the lower plate there, but unfortunately it doesn't quite penetrate. Um, and yeah, he's just sort of trying to look to see if he can get another shot in there. Does get a shot in. Uh, I think the first shot again may have just hit the upper plate of the Basante, which is why it potentially didn't pen. Um, Again, sort of goes to try and get the kill shot, but bounces again off that Basante. He's been quite unlucky with the bounces as us, as uh, our friend Bobek here. But you know, he's still sort of um, plowing on. He's, he's still retained the majority of his hit points. Only been hit once, which was that tight four. So he's done well to conserve the hit points. But the game is starting to sort of come into its adolescent phase now. Um, so he's going to sort of push up to a little bit more of a, uh, an aggressive position. to try and see if he can sneak a shot into this Tiger 2. He's having to sort of peek round. Uh, unluckily, just hits the corner of that Tiger 2 and it bounces. I think that Tiger 2 had just sort of sat still long enough. Probably just could have got shot straight into the side. But he's just going to sort of poke and manages to get heat round the upper plate of the Tiger 2. It's going to penetrate absolutely no problem. And um, now he's just backing rounds, he's got artillery focusing on him and it's just sort of getting behind hard cover so that artillery can't hit him. But he's trying to poke and artillery is still hard aiming this corner. Um, so yeah, he doesn't really want to sort of make play while artillery is looking. Particularly as it's a GWE 100 and uh, Object 261, both tier 10 artilleries which are going to hurt if they hit. So, um, yeah, no doubt he's, he's just sort of you know realizing that's the situation and, and doesn't want to make the play get hit by artillery and then obviously be put in a situation where he's not on many hit points but the object 261 does get taken out it's still getting focused by the gwe 100 here but you know knowing that there's only one artillery to worry about and knowing where that artillery is now means that he can sort of possibly make a bit of a better play <laughs> he thought about poking that e4 but he's done the right thing um trying to sneak a shot into that su-130 there but i think the rubble gets in the way artillery is back looking over this way so again um he's just sort of being cautious the death stars now gonna push over to the right of him he's decided he's not gonna sit there probably a wise move particularly if artillery is looking this way because you know splash damage will potentially take out that death star but um, the E4 has now been distracted by tanks to the right here and Bobic manages to squeeze a shot into the back of him. Now he's going to sort of try and see if he can potentially get a shot into the SU-130. He does get a shot into the SU-130 and that guy swiftly gets taken out by the Yeager E100. There's only three tanks left now. We've got uh, two medium tanks and artillery. Uh, the uh, I think both, yeah, both medium tanks are by the base. I think the Ragnarok has just been taken out. And the T62A is just taking out artillery, but there is a heavy tank up there. Um, so Bobek is going to make his way and take out the pesky artillery. He's loaded the HE ready um, and he's looking to the left, which to be fair is where I'd expect artillery to be. They're usually on the left here, sort of sitting, um, you know, just sort of sitting in the dip of the lake. Um, but doesn't seem to be there, so he's going to make his way out into the field. Um, to try and see if the GWE uh, has come out this way. Um, nothing shown as of yet. The uh, heavy tank by the base is in a scrap with the T62A and does actually get taken out. And there's the artillery. Um, Bob is going to line up the shot here, make sure it aims here, <laughs> and slaps it for 564. That's a nice roll there. Um, and yeah, the Death Star manages to mop up the remaining hit points of the artillery so all that's left now is the t62a the the tank destroyer at the back there um you know four tanks left yeah and there we go it's it's 
you know, game games given basically, and uh, Bobbit picks up the win. So in C there, he comes top of the board. He picks up 4.3k damage, 1.6k assist, picking up the ace tanker, uh, and having himself quite a nice, decent game there. So anyway, moving on to the second replay here, and he's on Himmelsdorf, and I think he is top tier in this one, so he can afford to be a bit more aggressive. Um, it's on a nice map for it as well. Himmelsdorf is you know, well suited to Russian heavy tanks. Uh, plenty of stuff to side scrape off and, and get hold down. And that's precisely what he's doing. He's coming up the uh, banana line here, uh, which is a predominant brawl spot in Himmelsdorf. Um, and he gets a nice shot into uh, some of the tanks that are pressing there. See the size 2 dash 2 is trying to side scrape, not really doing a very good job. I think he's just a little bit over angled there, and Bobby actually manages to get a shot into him. Now the Basante is trying the same thing and gets Amorat. Uh, not Amorat, sorry, gets uh, set on fire. Um, that's a nice bit of RNG there for Bobek. Uh, he's trying to see if he can squeeze a shot into the Basante, potentially finish him off, but um, unfortunately uh, the Basante has got into the cover. So, but this is the opportunity where Bobek can now move up um, and he's going to sort of get quite aggressive here and try and get some shots and squeeze these guys that are back here. Uh, it's poking the Basante and he manages to get a shot in and Amorak's him. Nice bit of RNG there again, just getting a full Amorak um, and picking up his first kill of the game. Squeezes a shot into the uh, Super Sherman there. Super Sherman actually um, shoots, but Bobet's able to bounce the shell, which is quite good. Um, and yeah, the Super Sherman gets quickly taken out by one of his friendly teammates. He's already on 2.3k damage here, which is quite nice considering there's still um, to, you know, what, 13 tanks available. Manages to spot artillery and a tank destroyer sitting at the back there. He does squeeze a shot into the artillery. I think the tank destroyer actually bounces in as well. He does take a shot there. Unfortunately, just tracks the uh, tank destroyer, which isn't ideal. It's not the greatest of trades, but uh, unfortunately, not really much you can do about that. He's going to just trolled him a little bit there, which is big spectacle of Russian tanks. They are so trolly. It's ridiculous. And, won't really get any Russian tank that has uh, solid aiming. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the tank destroyer has now sort of uh, gone off. And look at that, he <laughs> gets the second Amorak of the game. Uh, oh wow, well, I honestly wish my RNG was that good. Um, gets a lovely nice roll of just under a thousand hit points, I think, from that LTG. So that really bumps his damage up to 4,000 damage. Squeeze in another shot on the artillery there. The Sturm Tiger does a fantastic job of finishing off both that tank destroyer and the uh, artillery for his bombardier. Unfortunately, Bobek trying to squeeze in the shot on that G sword's backing up there, and he just uh, you know, doesn't quite get the aim right and, and, and shot just misses. But now he's going to sort of make his way uh, back down the train tracks here. This is full health Udez, which is lovely. Udez has absolutely uh, no armor whatsoever. And Bobek is just is not gonna um, not gonna struggle penning this tank whatsoever. Uh, you know, you know, just just on the wrong map really for uh, to to make his tank shine, and uh, he gets finishing off by the uh, Stern Tiger P. Uh, now this light tank is in trouble. Uh, just comes strolling around, and uh, I think he's on reload because well, he is because he's not firing. Uh, Bobek actually manages to sort of get a bit of ram damage on him puts him down to a one shot and gives uh, Bob his third kill. Now, unfortunately, uh, the friendly team decided that they're gonna cap, which is a bit annoying. You can see sort of Bobek's quite frustrated with that. Um, and yeah, they're, they're gonna cap out here, unfortunately, which is a shame. So there's two tanks left that could have easily uh, finished him off. And you know, who knows, Bobek may have got Potentially a bit more damage but uh, needless to say he has a fantastic game and he finished the game just under 6k damage with three kills and really nice result there picking up the ace tanker so there we go credit to Bobek uh, for his games there he'd done a fantastic job in that tank and uh, yeah thank you for sending them in Bobek really appreciate it so anyway guys that is it for the video really hope you enjoyed it um, 
if you did enjoy it please like and subscribe it does help the channel and also uh please don't forget bob it does have his own channel which he does put the odd video uh here and there up on on the channel i'll link his channel in the description below so please go and um give him a like and a subscribe as well and help his channel out anyway guys thanks for that i will catch you next time